What's going on, everybody? Uh, we are back here in some more for Speed Unbound. So, let me set the stage. It's 2005 or 2006, what? You're a kid. Come home from school, you got a PlayStation 2, and you want to play Need for Speed. And then you go ahead and pop in Need for Speed Most Wanted. Now, everybody knows this car, the BMW, um, the M3 GTR, and recently I've actually had, I've had a, a recent fixa fixation with this car again. Now this car has been all over the place. It's, uh, if you guys watched my recent video, you guys would know that I just did a, a theory, a updated extended theory about a uh, player uh, in the Need for Speed franchise and this car right here. So today I actually wanted to go over and actually talk about uh, some of the car specs on this one. Uh, this is the regular uh, 2006 M3. Um, this is not the the deluxe edition or the EA Plus thing. This is uh, you buy the car, you can put the body kit on it. Uh, you guys will know because they don't have the the window vents or the um, the roll cage or anything. I wish you could do it, but um, the, this is how the, the the stock car comes. You can't put anything on it. Um, so for the livery, the livery is actually from the community tab uh, for the wraps and everything. It's either the first or second uh, one for the car, so uh, it's one of those two. This is probably the closest replica. It's close, but it's not to the T, but um, this dude did a pretty decent job uh, with that. So what I'm going to have to do right now... Uh, style body. I forgot. Always, I I always keep forgetting. But the most wanted. Okay. You got that, the frame, that's all good. So, actually, let's do, let's go ahead and do a playlist, see if anybody will, will accept it. Okay. Let's do this one. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do... Um, this playlist, because I, I think it's the same dude that I've that I just played with, because um, all that sort of stuff. So the the whole perks of having the the actual GTR is pretty much the sound uh, and the rims. So if you guys know, the rims are actually a one screw bolt on uh, the BBSs, but these are five lug nut screw on, but if they're not if the, the car's not as you know, as accurate as the real thing uh, but I do have a tune in a setup that's pretty much pretty much the closest you will ever get it um, it's got a lot of acceleration it's got uh, it, it, it can take corners pretty well just overall the, the car it's the most best at, uh, at S class. You can have it at S plus or whatever. Uh, the car's even faster there. But if you wanna, if you want to use this car frequently, then I would do S class because S class, you know, you got more more races and everything. Conflicts. Wow. Okay. The car is it? The car is pretty slow in corners, but 
but uh, the acceleration for the car is it's pretty decent. Um, it's not it's not for the real. It's not as close as the real one, but it's close to get it because no need for speed, you know. But after this race, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go over the setup, the specs, uh, everything like that. Because so if you guys do like this car, if you guys, well, actually, if you guys love using this car. I, like I said, I do have a decent tune setup, performance setup, everything like that. Uh, which you guys are seeing right now. You go just fast enough to stay out of the reach of the cops. Which I actually do always kind of like. This car. And you will... And you will outrun the uh, most of the players. I haven't done an official race with this yet. I've been doing a lot of these uh, gauntlet playlists because I was good for speed. <laughs> so it's the most wanted car. So it's cannon. All right, so did that race give you gave you guys a little bit of a, a showcase for the car? So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys the specs. Okay. Um. Oh, he wants to do. <laughs> he wants to do another one. Okay. <laughs> so. Um. That was a three. That was uh, a th a three three race uh, playlist. So I uh, showed one. So. Uh, first off, I'm actually going to um, show you guys the wrap that I usually have. Um, not library, community. So it is made by. Let me make sure. I think I believe it's this one. Oh, uh, because the dude has. Okay, so um, it is this one right here. Um, th this is probably the closest thing. Um, but you can do this one because it's actually this is the the correct one, I believe. Um, it's a little darker. Uh, but he does have all this stuff on this uh, on the windows and everything, but. Um, yeah. So, but I do choose to use this one. Uh, I, I believe that it's it's pretty decent. Um, all that sort of stuff. I might go back to that one. I'm not entirely sure yet, but um, okay. So we got that out of the way. So let's go ahead to performance. So we all know. Oh Jesus. We all know that the BMW is a V8, the 4.0 liter. Uh, the, the actual real engine for the car is actually a 4.2 liter. Um, I'm not entirely sure why they they have it as a, a 4.0. Um, but uh, you do the the one fifth the the 515 a 4.0 uh, the 4 liter a V8. That's that. So for the parts, so this is a, th this is entirely up to you on how you want to uh, do this. But I will tell you right now, you want to do the Elite Screw Supercharger, um, with the Super Clutch, uh, with the Super the Super Tier uh, Clutch. Uh, you can do uh, the differential, um. And then the, the standard uh, six-speed transmission. So, um, I have the Pro Induction, uh, well, the cool air intake. Um, the Pro uh, ECU, the Pro uh, fuel system, uh, the exhaust, the manifold uh, on Pro. 
everything's pretty much all the same. And then I have on it on Sport Nitrous because the way this thing is built, um, you really don't need uh, nitrous, actually. Uh, the only thing that you're going to need this nitrous for is just pretty much give you a kickstart on your acceleration. Um, and I will show you the setup I do have on this. Uh, the chassis, uh, I do have it. I do have it on the Elite suspension. So this suspension, if you guys haven't known already, is pretty much uh, the neutral suspension on how you would think the car would feel. So I do I do uh, the regular suspension for most of my builds. Um, just because, you know, if it's the road suspension or something like that, it just kind of makes the car bog and you can't really, you know, move around or drift around corners or anything. So I usually do the, the normal suspension. Usually the Elite. The tires, um, as well, I do the Elite uh, road tires. It gives it the best, uh, the most uh, up there for, you know, the, the tier and everything like that. Again, you guys can do uh, Elite everything uh, to put it up in the S Plus class. Um, if you put it on a 7-speed, seven, seven uh, it will go up past 400. Uh, but um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys real quick um, just a run through of everything I got. So on the on the uh, on the uh, on the first induction, you can do a turbocharger, uh, but for for if you want a car that has a lot of acceleration, or if you wanted to build for a lot of acceleration, I would do the screw supercharger because it has a lot of that uh, power at low speeds, so you will be able to get up there. But the setup. Uh, the handling setup will actually um, help you with more of the higher speeds. So here's that. And here's that. My brakes, here's that. Here's that. Super clutch, uh, transmission, six speed, differential all the way, and then the exhaust, the ex auxiliary. I have it on the impact protection, and then for the second one, I have I think it's the jammer that I have on there. Impact protection. Oh yeah, the radio jammer. So the this is this you know it's the cool down time pretty much before you get to a next heat. So so that that's pretty much the the whole setup I have on this. Um, if you guys do it right, it should put you up to 320, 328, 327, 28. Um, and then here's the handy. So the handling, it, it won't go all the way up, but uh, you do have 40% grip um, all the way right here, just right there. Um, and then this is where it comes in. So the downforce, if you guys know, uh, the if you have high downforce, um, it will uh, give your car a lot more better cornering than, you know, top speed, it won't give you a lot of acceleration, uh, it will just help you with the cornering, uh, the cornering, so the more, the, the less downforce that you have on a lot of these more tuner uh, imports, uh, the more better they handle, uh, so I have this about uh, right in the middle, um, one, two, yeah, about one, two from the left, 
Uh, this is that's where I pretty much have it on. Uh, traction control, I have it on, and then the drift entry, I do uh, brake tap because I do let go of the gas a little more. So that's pretty much the setup I have for this car. Um, it's not too much. Uh, it's not too difficult in my opinion. But if you if you guys do like using this this BMW, but you can't get it to uh, where you guys want it for you know the acceleration over power and everything like that. So. Um, another thing I forgot to mention is, um, you know, he, the, the, the engine, the, the V8, the 4.0 V8, uh, it, it is naturally aspired, but because this is, um, need for speed, I think a good counterpart for a naturally aspired engine would, is the screw supercharger. Uh, you can do the, the roots, uh, the roots supercharger. But I believe that it gives you less. Uh, it gives you less power at higher speeds more than the screw. Because um, if you do read the subscriptions, the screw supercharger is great at delivering instant boost at low speeds, but it lacks the high end boost. Uh, the screw supercharger is. It has a lot of low speed accelerate or a lot of low speed uh, boost, but it don't have a lot of high end speed other than you know the screw supercharger. So, and you know everybody knows this Canon. If you have a V8, you're gonna put in a supercharger. It's like, but so, um, so again, if you guys uh, like using this. Uh, car but you guys can't find a good uh, tune for it or a setup for it try try this tune um you guys should like it but um if you guys do end up seeing me around here on this thing um <laughs> oh let's go so uh i think that's about it for this video uh, if you guys like if you guys like this type of uh content give it a like subscribe and uh, i'll see you in the next one see ya